What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Knights of St. John. So to round off happened last time, uh, I was... Uh, <laughs> I had to, to fight two defensive battles in the last episode. And this uh, is the next. Uh, after barely making it through the end turn phase, we are being attacked by a force coming in to support the Garrison of Panama. So let us destroy them next. Let's do this. Uh, wider uh, flanking maneuver against uh, Spanish forces in Colombia. So, do have a main force advancing through the territory by reinforcements, and also to actually cause some losses against some of the, uh, the troops we knew were coming. So, I'm probably going to want to advance out of this position because right now this is a really it's not a bad formation, I just don't like fighting inside towns like that. Because that's usually when, if something goes badly wrong, you don't have a way to actually uh, respond effectively. Yeah, you stay in the middle. Not going to do much chasing down with this cavalry. push out so we have an advantage on the left which I am going to exploit to its maximum they will get the first artillery shots off, which could be devastating if they aimed at our artillery, but they are not. <laughs> he says, after they just mow down one of his gun teams. That is exactly why it's dangerous. In which case, let's... Uh Get up in their faces. Regiment of horse would be useful over here. I know it's just mounted tribal auxiliary, but eh. Here we go. Now where's that lone unit back here? That's got nothing to do. You and Limber fire round shot. You get into square formation. No, don't get into square. Just charge the general. Tag him and stop him from moving. Good. This is it now. They don't have the same advanced firing drills that we do. And we're safe in the knowledge that the only support they're going to get is from uh, militia. Okay, the infantry tried to form square. Yeah, they're trying to hit our gun teams with their general, but their uh, general was pretty pretty knackered oh uh, yeah they're shattered so when we knock out oh get my general out of the way there's some musketeers hidden back there let's knock out the mounted tribal auxiliary More cavalry coming in. To be honest, you guys are all now so close to just hit them with canister shots. Charge my infantry in. There go the na there go my there go the uh, mounted tribal auxiliary. Let's keep the cavalry going around the flank. Okay, so over here, the 
militia has recovered somewhat. Come on. Blasting that formation there with canister, which might not be a good idea. Let's instead use round shot. Let's get our regiment of horse over here, because they can easily knock out the native musket mill auxiliary without needing without needing to uh, draw it out. There we go. Let's hit them. Yeah, the light cavalry are destroyed. You guys get out of square and push up. You guys get in to help provide them with bayonets. There we go, as my general charges in. Charge on into the native musketman auxiliary. There's more native musketman auxiliary. Just charge the block straight on into them. Because they won't stand. Ah, oh, obviously they come back. Not that it really worries me. Cavalry, artillery is not. In this battle, it is not critical. So let's push. Let's get this colonial line infantry out of the mix. Get my regiment of horse out and get my general out. Push up. Uh, let's. Okay, you guys advance to help break the guys on the on the right. No, oh, no, I, I only want you guys. Form a new line to deal with the reinforcements coming in. See, they're still just broken. Come on, gunners. Get you back to your guns. really overkill to kill one militia unit and four units of infantry but we don't really need them elsewhere Gunners are not firing, even though it says they are. You guys are doing a pretty good job at knocking up the third. Yep, lots of uh, lots of routing. I don't think there's any more to come in because they don't actually get that many. They didn't actually have like a whole stack of militia, it's just the garrison that's in there. Yeah. Just push it up. Yeah. 
let's get my general around start trying to hoover up some of these reinf these enemies but to be honest actually they're a bit close so maybe maybe a job for the regiment of horse but the general no you can have at the irregulars though as you gallop and leap over the fence Guns are falling back. General's bodyguard's starting to come within range. But then again, there's not really many places he can go to stay out of range. Yeah, colonial militia. Eh? There goes the general. Now it might be safe for the general to do it. At least temporarily. So you guys kill that last irregular unit. Good. You get onto that militia unit. General, keep running through to try and hit the 6th regiment. Obviously this is the general fancies his chances you hit the sixth okay you hit the sixth as well the 35th are the only enemy unit in range they are shattered. Yeah, they're done. They're all done. Uh, so, whoever it's, wherever these gun crews actually are, I mean, the generals. <laughs> Look at these. Ballsy buggers. No, oh, no, you don't. That cannons belongs to the Knights of St. John, I'll have you know. Uh, although, I don't really know. What a. I don't really know what happens now. Oh, there they are. There he is. The icon was was over here still as a cannon. But yeah, this army needs replenishment because by God, close victory. Yeah, it was a bit dodgy, Too aggressive, then a bit more aggressive than I needed to be. But my God, that's a killer ratio. Got a colonial line infantry, three hundred and twenty-eight kills. So they've been pushed back, as has the garrison. So they have to send more men up to Panama. Oh yeah, we knew they were going to do that. Yeah, we knew they were after that. There's not, there wasn't anything I could do about it because I don't really have the forces in theatre to do anything about it. Take the city, demand surrender. There we go. A bloodless capture. You guys auto resolve against Eugene Eugenio Galliano. Una vittoria gloriosa. Can you maintain pressure downwards? I would like, if I could take these, I would like to try and see if I can make peace with them. But this is the big gain. Quebec. That's another really handy tax town to have. Also, if I repair you, you can build big howitzers. So we'd like Montreal. This guy is incoming. He's the one to watch out for. Sadly, I have no ships in the area. Otherwise, I'd love to just park a sloop right here. 
that's the way to do it, but I don't think I think what I'm in for is a defensive siege. So Krakus is growing. See, I don't have any ships that could really that could get there. I mean, could you get there? Maybe. So green arrow. Green, 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 green. Green. Still green. I'm holding right click, but I'm not clicking it because I want to see if they can get there. So I can get the green arrow across, which means this guy that's currently in Barbados. It would be nice to keep you there, but I'd rather you go over here. Um, hop over to Europe, because this is where um, a major part of what we're doing <laughs> is currently focused. So, yeah, I am still mightily concerned about this whole naval thing. Because I can only recruit three Admiral's flagships, first rate. Hmm. Concerning. Let's agree the Weaver's Cottage because it's always good money. It's always good to upgrade those kind of buildings and then let's pick up. Oh, you're already getting two Marines. Good. Mm. It's a problem. It's a poser. Okay, one more piece tool, one more tool, machine tools, power loom would be good, because we're starting to get lots of workshops now, so I might actually get severe, oh no, I can't do that with the college. Are you actually being upgraded? You should be. Yeah, you are. Good. So you captured New France and captured Panama, which is quite, it's quite good going really. Um, I do want to knock out... Well, if I can take Bogota, I'd like to then try and make peace. 24 grand, thanks to trade. If we ever lose trade with Sweden, then things are going to get difficult pretty quick. As we, as we beat Prussia, let's see if we can... No. And let's see, actually, if we can... I was hoping, because they got the Windward Islands, we could make peace. Uh, can't recruit any suitable ships. I probably need my shipyard for that. Yeah, just build a sloop to start to fill out some of my other positions. Okay, so we've halted Georges Louis Charnock from pushing out towards us. You can replenish and rebuild. Maybe hit Montreal. See what I'd like. I've got two armies down here. If I could knock out New Spain, I could have one army sat on the border or sat at Panama, ready to launch an attack on Guatemala if they try anything. And also move one of these up north. That would be my preference. Yeah, they're going to have to go the long way around. They're going to land a French force. Ooh, we're about to be attacked. Because the sixth rate just snapped. Yeah. Uh, who by? Fourth, fifth, right? Galley fifth. La flotta è uh, they captured it, if anything. But at least their infantry moved. Oh, no. That navy's come back. The army's come back, sorry. Um, Yeah, we need to reinforce the... Uh, I don't like that either. We need to reinforce our position. We need to reinforce Quebec. Uh, Spain I'm not so worried about because it's a small army. Uh, demand an alliance. No.
You're marching down towards Panama, but we should get a few turns of uh, replenishment in. They're going to raid towards our city. They're not going to capture it because our garrison's too strong, so I'm going to ignore them. Yep, so they've... They're raiding the mines. So you've landed over there. So you guys need to keep replenishing. You guys could probably do with... Getting a couple of fourth rates. Okay, so we've got machine tools. You've gone straight on to steam engine, which I don't want you to do. I want you to go on to... Although, steam engine might get us... Steam dry docks, we can try if that would make a difference. No, I think I'd probably want to get town uh, Loom, I think, first. Evora's gone for, uh, for military procurement, which is unfortunate about the upkeep, but there we are, what are we going to do? Unless you go for steam engine. In Sevilla, go for... Start hacking away at quicklime, maybe? When they get upgraded, they'll their, their research rate will improve a lot. Sure, replenishing this. Edward Lejeune. I could push, technically, push up to Paris, because we now no longer have a... We won't have a border with Prussia, but I really don't want to. We need to wait a turn to see where these guys go. They're probably going to raid the... the uh, Raid the mine here. What ships have you got? Galleon, a couple of fifth rates and a fourth rate. What ships have we got in the area? Some knackered ships that need repairs. Build another stack of fourth rates. That's all we can do. Okay. So I want to hold off until we get steam engine to see if that fixes our recruitment problems. Probably stay out of people's control zones and try and march towards there. I'm not going to upgrade this. Let's pick up a general here, Bartolomeo Zachariah. Pick up two units of howitzers and then this army is pretty good to actually spar with them, although I've got the, the imp distinct impression that Spain's probably going to come after us. So that's not great. And then let's also build... Build another army up here in Quebec. Start to push against Montreal, Falmouth, you know northwestern United States while this area is starting to uh, figure itself out. To be honest, if we, if we build up an army in London, maybe they might land and hit Paris? Because right now it is... It would get a full garrison. No, they'll get jumped on by everyone else. There we go, so we've got some, some more first rates, which we're gonna we're gonna keep our main admiral. Both of you fellas are gonna be demoted. And that way, there we go. We've added the maximum amount of first rates we can get. I'm glad our tax income is going up. Right now, if we lost all trade, we'd be plus five, which is good. Well, better bunch of successful missions path blocked that was here like I said I'm okay with these guys running past me if they want to come after here because this army's pretty good but I want you to take Bogota and get a temporary peace you are about to get hit by them if they can get down here in time but let's hit in turn
French have dumped another army into Spain, but that's okay. We've got quite a lot of firepower in Spain, so I'm not overly concerned about that. Quebec's a bit of a concern, but, you know, they're up and ready to go. They demand physiocracy. Isn't that really low? Okay. Fairly sure physiocracy is a tier one philosophy tech. So they can have it. <laughs> yep, you saw what I was going to do. They're going to do some raiding and that's okay. You'll probably make it to Bogota before I can get to you. Will you get all the way to Panama? No. Which means our army will be fully replenished. They might be attacking on defending both sides at once. Yeah, yeah. One more turn till you get those fifth rates. Oh, to be honest, actually, I may as well just cancel that. Pick up a general now, Daniel Boscovich. And let's boost them with another turn's worth of infantry, because that's now a couple of stacks in this area. At least of these at least this army's been diverted south. If you come after us, that'll be fine. We're not gonna have new techs for a long time. Russia's at war with the Mughals. That's pretty... No, it's not. I was about to say it's pretty good, but it isn't. Uh, New Spain is blockading us. Keep researching and pushing towards Bogota. You guys aren't going to sally out. Because I don't want you to. Although, to be honest, because it's only a couple of bow units, let's send infantry forward to knock them out. Then we can repair it. They're starting to recruit more men, but they're pretty low quality. Okay, let's get... Logging camp is just straight money. Which is good. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying money's bad. But I was mainly looking for road upgrades or some such. Don't want to do any upgrades here. And to be honest, we could probably do with just attacking this army to just destroy them. It doesn't matter if we lose Panama, even temporarily. It's just to... Uh, just to remove one of the jaws of the pincer, I think. It's got 20 grand, so let's... To be honest, let's set these guys to expand to a full army. Let's hop back to Europe. So the French are not within range to immediately hit with all of my men. They need to come around down here. Tunia's army is repaired. Put a great arsenal here. Let's build, upgrade that port. Let's upgrade sign workshop. And then what I've not been doing for a long time is upgrading you to a royal palace, which you may as well because you've got lots of money. And was flash it third or eight. I got my hopes up then. Let's build another stack of fourths. You're currently hanging about. Lots of recruitment in New France. I think, though, the thing to do is to take this guy, Fabrizio Mincello. Although, to be honest, that's a pretty poor reinforcing army, and that's just militia. And I'm worried if I attack them, that might. Yeah, they might still be in range to be supported by. Oh no, they're out of movement points. It's probably the smart thing to do. Um, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, 
Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for a little bit of a defensive battle, well, offensive battle, uh, near Panama. Cheers, everyone.